Welcome to another Choices for Women segment. My name is Nancy Muller, and I am so excited to have my special guest with you today, Liz Hand. And today we're going to be talking about finances. And before you go, eh, I don't want to hear about finances. <laughs> Ladies, you must be empowered in your life. And how can you be empowered if you're not empowered around the money in your life? So pay attention to this segment. It's very, very important. We need money, right? <laughs> okay. So Liz, thank you so much for being with me today. I'm so excited to have you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So tell us who you are, what you do, and why you're so fabulous. Okay. Um, well, Liz Hand, I'm a certified financial planner. So I work with women as they are suddenly single, whether that's through death or divorce. Um, helping them kind of uh, pick up the pieces, especially as they're gearing towards those retirement years. I'm helping them make those decisions, those incremental decisions like social security, how to take your pensions, how to invest your money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Excellent. And you and I met through a beautiful, wonderful, awesomest uh, group that we <laughs> love called Women's Impact Inc. Yeah. In Stark County, Ohio. Um, I'm really, really excited about the women that I'm meeting there. And you are one of the women that I um, met and had a conversation with. And we instantly knew that we wanted to do this interview together. So, um, you know, can you, I know that going through divorce, it is, it's a very disempowering event in our life. Mm -hmm. And depending on our knowledge of finances, it can become even more disempowering as we realize the things that we either didn't pay attention to in the marriage or uh, just took for granted that someone else would always be there to, you know, take control of or take, take over the ins and outs of it. And mm -hmm. not just divorce, as you say, you know, becoming a widow um, you know, there are times when we find ourselves suddenly single and we say, now what, what's the next step? And it's so important for us to have the money piece of it. So can you share with us, you know, exactly what your feelings are and why you're so passionate about this? Sure. Yeah. So, um, I think I read a book a couple of years ago talking about how women are newer to the money table. Um, within the last couple of decades, women have stepped more into the seat of having a, a career, um, building up their investments, et cetera. Um, and so we're, because we're newer on the scene with how money works, it's not in our normal lingo with each other. We're not as fluid. Where we are, where, where our strong suit is, is the money management within the family, the budgeting, the bookkeeping. That's often the, the role that the woman plays in a family. Not every family, not even my family, but often. Um, and so as we hit this suddenly single phase, um, we realize that we have to take on all of the responsibility of our finances. And it can be very, very daunting because there's a lot to know with investing. It's convoluted. Even I, almost 10 years into um, this career, I still learn different nuances of rules. So it's a lot to navigate and especially if it's forced upon you quickly it's like a flood of information that you have to wrap your head around so i often find that the word investment is scary you know people think uh women clients that i work with they're like investment i don't have anything to invest you know i i got out of this marriage with uh you know the bathrobe and the slippers that's it you know mm -hmm. um i lost everything so when someone says investment to them uh, they just want to go hide underneath the covers because they feel like they don't have anything to invest. So can you explain a little bit more about what you mean when you say investing and take the sure. scary out of it? I take the scary out of it. Well, um, I always say try to find ways to diligently save and women feel very comfortable in that role. Um, so investing can be as simple as just making sure that you are in your um, employer's retirement plan. Um, maybe a, oftentimes a retirement plan that's established by the company that you work in has some sort of match attached to it. So just get to know those rules. Um, look at those and maybe it's you put in 3% and the company matches 3%. That's extra money free for you on the table. And um, the investment portion, the actual taking money and putting it in the stock market is as simple as on your retirement platform, 
making sure that you're contributing enough so you get your company's match, but then um, talking with the investment representative and having them educate you on the different options. And I think it's a lot more intuitive than women uh, fear or um, women are worried that it's, it's so um, logic based and there is logic attached to investing, but there is a lot of intuition there. So we, um, we know what we value. It might be price point. It might be um, being hands off, but making sure that we're saving and accumulating what we need to. That investment advisor with a retirement plan is going to be able to show you uh, the different options that you have within it. And then just go with your gut. You know, it doesn't have to be as, um, you don't have to be a stock picker by any means. And especially as regulations have come in for the financial services industry, they have made it so that it is so educational based that you can get the information that you need in order to get up and running. And the biggest thing that people need to know is just start saving in some capacity. And oftentimes the employer's uh, company, res company retirement plan is the best, easiest place to get up and running in that manner. And for someone who's listening, a woman who's listening to this or watching this video and she's rolling her eyes saying, are you freaking kidding me? Um, I'm a mom with kids and I'm barely making ends meet and we're having, um, you know, macaroni and cheese and hot dogs every night for dinner. What, what mm -hmm. would your advice to her be? Um, I think there's still some key ways that we can start uh, saving aside little acorns, we'll say, of, of money. And you just have to be creative with it. There's a couple of apps that help you do that. One is like a, a Roundup app. It's actually called Acorns, where for every purchase that you make, if it's $5.42, it's going to round up to the next dollar. That just sets a little bit of money aside at a time. And your first goal should be to build up $1,000 of buffer for your family. And you can do that through different automatic savings opportunities. So Acorns is one app that I like to use for that. And that's just the roundup option, rounding up to the next dollar and putting that into savings. The other one is Capital, Q-A-P-I-T-A-L. And you can set up different rules based on that to start saving little bits of money at a time on an automatic basis that you don't have to think about. Because oftentimes, I mean, we are human. We get in the way of ourselves all the time. And uh, if we can make things automated, we're better able to save and adjust our lifestyle around that. See, if you need to know this information, ask a millennial. I love it. <laughs> I love when you say, there's an app for this. This is so great. <laughs> Liz, thank yeah. you so much. And for anyone who is watching this, all of you women, and you want to know more about connecting with Liz, I'm going to put all the links um, below this video. So please, if you have any questions about finances and you just want to ask some questions, I know there's a lot of fear around this, ladies, but you don't know until you empower yourself. And the first step to empowering yourself is start to ask questions. Be that person who's willing to say, you know what, I don't care how silly this woman thinks I am, how stupid this woman thinks I am, how um, irresponsible this woman thinks I am. And by the way, she's not going to think any such thing at all. Yeah. So if you're thinking that, that's on you, that's in your mind. So please do yourself a favor and free yourself of those fears and connect with Liz and find out what you can do to be more empowered around your financial situation. Liz, thank you so, so, so much for being on this sure. Choices for Women segment. I appreciate okay. what you're doing for women everywhere. Thanks. It's a true pleasure to be here. Awesome.